When my parents came to America in 1987, my father made sure to bring his super hip uh, Sony stereo with him to the new land. Um, according to my mother, he packed it carefully in his carry-on luggage so that it would not get scratched um, or it would not break. My parents lived in Chinkham refugee camp and my mother uh, sewed pandao as a way to bring in income. And with some of her first earnings, she bought my dad this brand new stereo in 1984. Um, it was the latest model and it generated a lot of popularity. Whenever my dad pulled it out to listen to the radio, um, the neighbors in the refugee camp would gather around like a, a really big community to listen with him. But in America, my parents used it to record their voices on cassette tapes to send over to their relatives still living in Laos. And as children, my mom would make us record our voices as well. Um, because we were young, we didn't really know what to say. She would say a line and then we would repeat word for word after her. I remember recording one of these voice messages to my mother's sister in Laos. Um, my mother would have me say, Hello, Auntie Me. My name is Melea. And um, how are you? I miss you and I want to play with my C. Um, and my C was, was my Auntie Me's daughter. And I remember sending um, these voice messages to her specifically because um, she had a daughter who was my age and my mother would always try to connect us together. So this Daryl has been um, an effective device in helping us communicate with our family members on the other side of the globe um, when my parents are fairly new to the country. Um, but today he sits on a shelf collecting dust, but even so, it's still my, my father's most treasured item.